We are back. Module 2, Lesson 6. How to trust and be open to love again. Oof, no, no, by the God. <laughs> God. God. Mm. And that's it. Listen, <laughs> listen. Mm. Even with the comments that we see. Matter mm. of fact, very recently we saw comments in regards to people saying, I'm good. I don't want to deal with no knuckleheads. Me and my kids. Mm. You know, it's just going to be me and myself and I because I'm just mm. sick of the foolishness. Mm. That's, a, that's a sign they're not healed. Mm -hmm. When you are able to trust and be open to love again, that is a huge indication God has healed you. Yep. Because you're not allowing your past to determine lo determine who you're going to love again. Mm -hmm. You haven't allowed your past to take away your love and your trust for what God has. You didn't, you, you're not saying like so many people, you know what, all men are dogs. All women are. You, you're not, you're not <laughs> allowing what has happened to you to deter you. From love. There's many that have said, uh uh, I'm just tired of the nookie head, which they believe that every person now that resembles their past are no good. When you're able to say, you know what, God, I trust you, I trust the God in me, I can love again. That is a telltale sign you are healed. We can't sit here and, and provide a step-by-step -step on how to heal. I mean, how to move forward and trust and love again. If your healing hasn't taken place, it won't happen. You can't, you can't love and be open and trust again if you're still trusting in your past. What happened to you? So now you think every time a man comes into your life, they look like the, your ex. They're going to treat you like your ex. And that's why God can't send the one because you're going to treat them like your ex. One thing that you can't get, one thing you can't be guilty of is if, if God sends you someone, that person has to pay for everything your ex did. And that's not fair. Any little thing that they do, it's going to remind you of your ex. And then you bring that into your relationship. Another sign, you're not healed. So in order for you to be able to trust and open, you have to have gone through your healing process first. This is why this particular lesson in the healing is the last one. Because after everything has been taken care of and God has delivered you and healed you, then you will be able to trust be able to and trust be open to love again. We can't talk about this if the healing hasn't taken place. It won't allow you to because you still have unforgiveness. You have, still have bitterness. You're still thinking about you know what they did to you. You, you can't even love yourself. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling like a failure. So everything that we've already talked about in this module, unless those things are taken care of, unless you have given those things to God and God has really healed you completely and totally, this part will be hindered. So assuming that everything has been given to God, God has delivered you, you've learned how to trust God in you. You've learned how to love yourself first because you can't give something that you don't have. I can't love you though if I don't love myself. I can't love my neighbor unless I love myself first. It says love your neighbor as you love yourself. Okay, well if I don't love myself, then I don't have any standards to love my neighbor with. Mm. Forgiving yourself for everything. Stop holding on to that. 
then you're able to forgive others and then the love will come because you will say you know what god yes that happened to me it doesn't define me it refines me and i know the person that you have for me would not look like my past it'll be a clean slate because i'm waiting on you when it doesn't look like a clean slate that's because you're doing it again on your own and you're making the same mistakes mm -hmm. if all Vito looks nothing like my past relationships from beginning to end he doesn't resemble any of them if you're in a relationship and if you're dating someone and they're resembling the same person or persons you've been with before mm -mm -mm. You better run. Because it should look different. Absolutely. It shouldn't look like your preference. It should look like God's preference. Right. It shouldn't look like your desires. Oh, but it should look like God desires. Ooh, because it's going to bring him glory, not you. you. Your future should not look like your past. Your present shouldn't look like your past if you are refining if you are in you know evolving if you are becoming a better person if you are listening to the voice of god and not man or your flesh or your desires or social media i was able to love had god not healed me the way that he healed me hmm. i wouldn't be able to receive love that he had for me. I would have rejected it. Because I would I would have thought I deserved it. Or I wouldn't have known how. it would, I don't even know how, how it was supposed to look. I thought love was cheating. And coming back saying they sorry. With tears in their eyes. I thought love was buying me things. And, and, and doing stuff for me. Even when they are doing their own thing. I thought love was you're supposed to come and leave. And then come back or not. My love was jacked up. I didn't have a beautiful model marriage of you know with my parents to show me what love looked like. When mm. I first got saved, I thought God was on this throne with a belt ready to beat me for every mistake I made. I thought love was like a fear type of thing. I got to do, 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 do so I could be loved. And if I do wrong, I'm going to hell. I was condemning myself. That doesn't leave room for God, love to, to resonate in your life. So that's why it's important for healing to take place. So you can receive the love that God has for you instead of rejecting it. I really have nothing, 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 to, add. nothing to add to it. All right. You was on point with everything is on. Well, with that being said, congratulations. You have completed module two see you in the next module hello beautiful people if you enjoyed this module and you want more and you are also interested in tackling and overcoming the struggles that you're facing while waiting god's way well then waiting and preparing is perfect for you Vito and i have been when you are we have struggled in the same areas my dear so we know exactly what you're going through so this class has been reduced to only $27 just for you. There are eight modules in this course and it comes with workbooks, PDFs, videos, and much, much more to make it very simple for you to grasp and also implement in your everyday life. Go to the processlife.com and click onto the academy and I will also put it down in the description box to make it more convenient for you. All right. If you have any questions, email us at info at the and we will see you on the inside. Love you guys. Bye.